Northwest Outdoorsman is presented by WorkSharp. <laughs> this week on the Northwest Outdoorsman. The crappie, look at that. There we go. Hello. Yeah, he's not bad. On the board. Rich Herod and the guys from WorkSharp return to the Snake River in pursuit of giant crappie. Yeah, crappie. Yeah. There we go. Oh, look at that. Best one yet. Woo! Looking, doesn't feel like a bass. <laughs> well, a quarter taco. <laughs> Yeah, baby. We're almost up to a full taco. Yes, sir. <laughs> the Northwest Outdoorsman, presented by WorkSharp, is brought to you by Max Lure, Procure Bait Sense, Valley Marine, the Northwest Outdoorsman Hunting Pack, Pioneer Barbecue Sauce. The Herods joined Ben Sarman several years ago for a memorable crappie fishing trip on the Snake River. Rich and Ben have fished together and enjoyed each other's company numerous times since then, but the Snake River has continued to beckon. Matt and Josh are new colleagues of Ben, who are anxious to experience an adventure where the Herod Outdoors and WorkSharp relationship all began. As usual, the Snake River did not disappoint. Well, I met Ben back in 2015 when we did a giveaway for some of our viewers. John and Jamie Mason came down to the Snake River and fished with us, and Ben came along to represent WorkSharp. That was a great trip, and I really enjoyed meeting Ben, and he and I have been fishing buddies ever since. I don't think I've caught that many fish in a day. There's a few things that stand out for me. One was the heat, and the other was the amount of fish that we caught every day. It was a lot of fun. I'm real fortunate because I have a good friend who has a cabin down there on the river and he said that we could stay there so it was a perfect place to take these guys fishing. Dad and I went down there a little bit early and ferried all my stuff into the house and then I came back and just met him at the park. We're here. You're here. You made it. Yeah. I hope the fish haven't found out yet. <laughs> there. You think they're in trouble? Oh, they're in trouble. You said that before. Don't jinx me. Matt, you got your stuff? Yeah. And then some. <laughs> How we doing, Josh? Well, <laughs> you, you happy to be here? Oh yeah. Yeah, we ended up fitting everything we brought in the boat. <laughs> Took a couple trips from the car, but <laughs> four days. The... Yeah. This is the first time I've been to Brownlee Reservoir. Yeah, I was telling Richie and the guys this. It's been something I've wanted to do for 20 plus years. I've heard about the big crappie in Brownlee and have wanted to come out here and check it out. We got a lot of stuff in here. These guys are glad to be here. Yeah. When I was giving them a hard time about all the gear that they brought, but we got it all in and we went on down the arm to the cabin. We run down to the cabin. Pretty unbelievable that it's even out here. It's like in the middle of nowhere. Unloaded our stuff, ran across the river, fished for, I guess we had probably an hour. Nice. Oh, that's a nice fish. <laughs> Sweet. Well, nice. Dessert, yeah. Way to go. Catch some supper. I'm doing my very best here. All, all it takes is a I'm, bite. A simple I, bite. I one know. bite. You got one bite so far, huh? Just one. By the time we got all the gear stowed and uh, things put up, we were on the water probably for about 35 minutes. And it was slow. Brownlee Reservoir. How pretty. Next morning, we get up, have a really good breakfast, some coffee. We are up at 5.30. You guys don't care, mayo, mustard? Do not care, no. Matter. Cool. Somebody grab the uh, cooler for lunch. I decided that we were gonna do a fish fry. We we're gonna make crappie tacos that second evening that we were on the river. So I told the guys that morning we got up and got going that today was fish for your supper day. had some expectations here because yeah. Ben jinxed us and said that the last time he was here he caught 600 fish. He set us up for a tough fishing trip. It did break the ice. Oh, a little pull. 
Somebody forgot to tell them we're fishing for crappie. Put your, we're gonna catch as many bass. Yeah, we're gonna. Crappie fishing. That's true. <laughs> I gotta get some crappie going. When you're in a different fishery, it's like, yeah, I gotta do this. It'd be a better one. There's yeah, a, crappie. a crappie. Look at that. There we go. All right. Yes. That's yeah. a good one. Yeah. Crappie, crappie. Sweet. A meaty one. Woo. There we go. Yeah, he's not bad. On the board. On the board. We are on the board. You can have a half a taco now. Thank you. <laughs> really, really slow. And so we just kind of pond hopped it for a little bit. Coming up after the break. Yep. Oh yeah. Bass. Big one. Good one. Good one. Yeah, baby. We're almost up to a full taco. Got something. Yeah, best one yet. Woo, nice job. The Northwest Outdoorsman, presented by WorkSharp, is brought to you by Max Lure, Procure Bait Sense, Valley Marine, the Northwest Outdoorsman Hunting Pack, Pioneer Barbecue Sauce. Welcome back to crappie and bass fishing on the Snake River. Woo, there we go. Yeah, he's not bad. On the board. On the board. We are on the board. You can have a half a taco now. Thank you. <laughs> it was really, really slow. And so we just kind of pond hopped it for a little bit. Yep. Oh, yeah. That's, big. That's a big one. It's coming up like a bass. Yeah, I think they're just pre-spawn fish. Did you hit one? Yeah, hit him. not huge. Looking at all the guys I'm in the boat with mostly to figure out what, what to do. But looking at the technology, where are they out on the fish finder? And yeah, got, got a little bit of the hang of it. Got something. Got something. Yeah, crappie. Crappie. Nice nice Good crappie. Nice Good job. Yeah. There's a dandy. There we go. Oh, huh? look at that. Best one yet. Woo. Good looking, baby. Good go. looking. It's a three quarter taco. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that was the first crappie, I think, ever. Ooh. I mean, I've only ever caught them by accident. Now it's happening. Bass. There's another one with it. You can't help yourself. I can't. <laughs> Dang, it. Dang it. I cut my teeth bluegill fishing and then got into trout fishing and then bass and then salmon and steelhead. And now it's really mostly bass fishing for me. It's definitely not a definitive bite. It no. just gets heavy. Yep. It's like you just keep lifting and it feels like it's still stuck on the bottom. Crappie. Crappie, nice yeah, one. baby. Yes, sir. Yeah, baby. Oh, boy. All right, we're almost up to a full taco. Get a couple more tacos. <laughs> we all need to eat, though. That's the problem. Nibble it. Yeah. Doesn't feel like a bass. It's a big crappie, man. Come on. 16 inches. Yep, it's crappie. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> all right. Sweet. Well, a quarter taco. Half, yeah. We went from spot to spot and point to point. And, um, we were getting fish. It was just kind of one here and one there. Sonic crappie. Sonic bait fish. Look at that. got to see all this fantastic scenery out here on the snake. It's just, it's fantastic. It's gorgeous. Well, 
as it was falling, it did a clunk. Yeah, we were on them. Holy jeez. Grappy. Grappy. I had met Josh a couple times before, but I've never fished with him. And you know, a young guy, and he's not fished for very many different species before, so the crappie thing was all new to him. And he kept saying, you know, oh, how he didn't know how to do it, but he was the one that was catching all the fish. Hey, we did it. We switched it up, tried something different. Yeah, we got one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change out my fly. Am I on? No. Oh, I definitely was. It's getting hot. It's getting hot, I can't even sit down, it's so hot. It's 100 degrees. What do you think? It's, yeah, it's gotta be 100. 100, don't you think? Yeah. And then, you know, it just started to get hot. Really, really hot. <laughs> what do you got there? This, this is gonna be the There's the biggest crappie you've ever oh, seen. Baby. The bass fishing's been a lot better than the crappie fishing. Woo! It's a two and a half. That's a nice, oh, yeah. nice fish. That's a two and a half. Yeah. Nice one. I like it. I'd say a solid two. Woo! That's what Matt got. I got hung up is what I got. Nope, I got a fish. Coming up after the break. Yeah. Nice chunk. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> the Northwest Outdoorsman, presented by WorkSharp, is brought to you by Max Lure, Procure Bait Sense, Valley Marine, the Northwest Outdoorsman Hunting Pack, Pioneer Barbecue Sauce. Welcome back. Temperature is rising, and so is the competition for supper. Hey, we did it. Switched it up, tried something different. That one got one. It's getting hot. It's getting hot. I can't even sit down. It's so hot. Nice fish. That's a two and a half. Yeah. Nice one. I like it. I'd say it's solid too. Woo. That's what Matt got. I got hung up is what I got. Nope, I got a fish. The bass fishing's been a lot better than the crappie fishing, and I think it has. There obviously are a lot of crappie in the lake because you can see them on the grass. They're just not biting. I don't know, man. Three and a half, four. Something big. Two. Nice fish. A little, too light. Woo. A little, little too light on the drag there. Yeah, it's gonna be a while. It's nice, whatever it is. <laughs> That's a nice fish. That's an easy two and a half. Good job, you guys. Back to back <laughs> mollies. Yes, sir. <laughs> On the long line, nonetheless. Yeah. yeah. What do you think? Yeah, 95 at least. Yeah, I think with at least with the radiation off the hillside here. Yeah, it feels like 110 out here. I mean, it's like I was saying, it's so steep. You get next to it and the sun's just been baking it, especially on the north faces. You're just in an oven. You're on. We're gonna have to make another pass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have to make one more pass. Way to go, Josh. I was so excited about hiding. We were joking, it's Josh again. He's like playing his skills down and, and he caught probably 80% of the fish. I've never done this before. Caught twice as many as you guys now, but I'm lost. <laughs> Any pointer? <laughs> And uh, there's a period in there, I don't know. I was the only one catching, catching the crappies. I think Matt got one in there, but man, I feels a little lucky, but you know, something was working. <laughs> so we decided to take a little break. And one kind of neat thing is my uncle is a part owner and a dock down there on river and so when the sun gets up and really hot it's a nice place to go because the building provides a little bit of shade and kind of cool down. Went out and when got back after it again we went back to a point that we had visited earlier in the morning and um, immediately it just began giving us results like bang 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 and it was really really a lot of fun. I think I actually might have got the feel for something a little different going on down there that time. I think you gotta wind it a little faster, just like a continuous wind. Bit and missed it? A little bit. Right. Fatty. Good spot right there, Matt. Good spot. Oh, poor Diddy. 
been figured out. They were biting the smoke purple little grub that we had, which we, of course was like the one thing we only had three of, and it cast up over the point and we started getting bit. And we put another nine fish in the boat in an hour. So it got exciting, it was worth it. Yeah. Looks like I'm gonna be eating all the tacos. Yeah. <laughs> I think we had nine when we pulled up here. We did. An hour ago. We doubled our, doubled, doubled our haul in an hour. What a fun hour. It is. Yeah, it beats you up. Oh. Zaps you. I love it. <laughs> so that evening we went on back and we flayed up the fish and had our fish fry. And that's, you know, one of my favorite things to do. A tortilla, fish, queso fresco, lime, shredded cabbage, and the Finnefield sauce. Excited for this or what? Oh man. Can't, Can't wait. Those huh? guys are about to tear into something I've never had. We're in a beautiful setting there at my buddy's place overlooking the river. Oh, I think it's in a really nice spot. Oh, absolutely, Kurt. Thank you very much. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, man. Just a huge thank you and what an opportunity to be able to use that. Thanks so much. It's really been really generous. Food was fantastic, the company was great, the view was wonderful. It's just one of my favorite things to do. Coming up after the break. Oh, that's a big crappie. That biggest crappie. Big guy. Crappie. That is fun. Oh, got him. It's a good one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh my. Whew, 13 inches. The, the Northwest Outdoorsman, presented by WorkSharp, is brought to you by. Max Lure, Procure Bait Sense, Valley Marine, the Northwest Outdoorsman Hunting Pack, Pioneer Barbecue Sauce. Welcome back to the last day on the Snake River. Yeah. <laughs> and the tacos were delicious. Yeah. So we got early again. Yeah. I was up at 5.15, got loaded back up, and went right back out to that point that we were on last night. I think we hit that point that we left off last night. See how hot it's still working. The crappie's last stand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try out over here, just see if something's happening. Of course, when we got there, the fishing was kind of slow. We started moving around. We kind of moved across the bay to the other point. There we go. That's a good one. Oh, that might be a crappie. crappie. Oh, That's a big crappie. crappie. Holy crappie. Woo. Woo. Boy, maybe this is the point, huh? Big daddy. Oh, boy, John. Yeah, yeah. 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 Look at that. Yeah, I just caught, I caught a big one and a uh, big crappie. The biggest one we've got here, we threw it on the scale and it's like 13 and three quarters, just under 14 inches. Big pancake. Dude. Wow. That's pretty cool, huh? That is the big biggest guy. crappie I have That's ever cool. seen. Super awesome. <laughs> just waiting to break the ice with something good. That's awesome, yeah. man. No, that was great. Yes. That's a monster. <laughs> Look at you. Crappie. The size of that thing, man. I know, it's yeah, a giant. Ridiculous. We're gonna have to look at that all day now. Time to move along, I find the fish. Out a few Today was supposed to be the hot one. Fun. See it come up and look at it. Come on up here, little guy. Well, as expected, you know, the fishing was pretty slow again, and so we decided, hey, let's just switch over to targeting for bass. That's a nice little smallie. There are so many bass in this reservoir. Almost every bank we pull up on, especially the steeper banks, has been good and really good fishing. Like fly rods, um, caught them on poppers, caught them accidentally fishing crappie jigs.
guys decided that hey you know it'd be a lot of fun to just go out and give her one more try in the evening pinch his lip man you got him oh, oh. yeah oh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that one dang I was getting a nice crappie dude whoa a small time look at that oh, oh. That's the biggest crappie I have ever Hey, baby. Wow. And it just was incredible. Oh, my gosh. Another one. There's another one. Back to backers, baby. Oh, I love it here. I think it's beautiful. These things are really good for your health, for your soul to get out. Yeah. They've been waiting all day to bite. This has been a great experience. And you just have to look up from the water sometimes and realize what a gift it is to be able to come to all of these new places. That, to me, is the magic of being a sportsman. You know, I think just the, the combined experience of it all. And with great people, with, with you and, and Ben and Matt, to do something we all love together. I think that just the culmination of all that makes it something really special. It's now time for another Harrods Cookhouse recipe, brought to you by Micklich, the Spokane Spice Company since 1948. Today we are making crappie chowder. Start by sauteing diced celery, onions, and bacon in melted butter. Add diced cooked potatoes, fish broth, white wine, and simmer. Reduce heat, add crappie pieces, Harrods Cookhouse Sunrise to Sunset All-Purpose Seasoning, Thyme, and Heavy Cream. Heat chowder mixture until crappie is cooked through. Stir frequently, but don't boil to avoid curdling. Garnish with crackers, bacon bits, fresh parsley, and enjoy. For this and other great fish and wild game recipes, visit the Harrod Outdoors website and YouTube channel out here when they're pulling water and they pulled a lot. Yeah. If you think about the fact that this place is 55 or 60 miles long, you know, we were joking around earlier trying to calculate it, but I don't know if our calculations are right. What we figured it was like two, two and a quarter billion gallons or something that they pulled 60 miles long and four football fields wide for, you know, a foot, a foot of water is a lot of water. Yeah.